So why did Siemens make this change? You know, it's uh, licensing has been the same for many years. Uh, some of you may have node lock licenses. Some of you may have floating with a dongle or also floating, which is tied to the, uh, the MAC address or the physical address, which is called the host ID method. Uh, but now Siemens decided to uh, bring a little uniformity. Uh, so what they've done is they, they brought solid edge floating licenses to the CLT or the common licensing toolkit. Uh, and if you are familiar with NX or Team Center or, or some of the other Siemens programs, you may be familiar with that licensing scheme. So that's, that's really what I did is, is just to bring some uniformity to make it easier for customers that have solid edge and maybe NX as well or Team Center. So now you can all, you can have all of those products on the same single license on the same single license server. So it really simplifies your licensing uh, on, on as a whole for your company. All right, a, a big important uh, note there is uh, that 2020 is the first version to to use this. So if you are still using 2019, just continue using your current license. All righty. So which license types are affected? Now, if you have a no doc license, that really hasn't changed much. So that's still going to be locked to the, uh, what's now gonna be known as a composite two ID, also known as comp two. And that used to be called the SEC ID. Uh, the, the ID itself is still the same. So like I said, nothing really changes, just the naming. Floating on the, on the other hand, that does require a few changes in the system. So. If you're familiar with the licensing uh, up until now, the license daemon was called the SELMD. Now, since it's using the CLT, the Common Licensing Toolkit from Siemens, it's now the UGS LMD daemon. All right, uh, another thing you may notice, as we'll see in a few slides here in the license utility, is there's a new environment variable called SE license server. And that's simply, telling your machine where to look for the license. And that could be local if you have a node lock license, or it could be the license server if you're using a floating license. The GetCID tool is what you'll use to grab the information from your license server machine. And I'll explain this a little bit more on the next couple of slides, but you're gonna use this GetCID tool to grab the CID, which again is a composite CID number and also the composite two, if you have a node lock license. The license utility that uh, hasn't changed much. I mean, that, that's still the same. It, it just gives you the information for your computer and also lets you choose how you want to uh, license Solid Edge. And as you can see in red there, Solid Edge 2020 will actually not uh, validate any previous versions. It's, it's not backwards compatible, like uh, licenses always are. So that's a very important note there, or I think I just men mentioned that a few minutes ago. So like I said, if you have any cl any client machines that you'd like to continue running, let's say SE 2019 or ST10 or any previous version, you can actually keep that license service running and you can actually install this new Solid Edge 2020 license service in addition to that. So they can both be running at the same time uh, while you transition and upgrade all your client machines. Okay, so this is uh, the good old license utility. Uh, most of you should be familiar with this. <clears throat> so first let's let's look at node lock licenses. So like I said, not much has changed there, just the name. Now, as you can see here, this is the new Solid Edge 2020 license utility. It looks basically the same as you can see. The one new thing you'll see there is that SE license server environment variable. And as you can see there in that file path, that's just pointing to my local machine uh, for a license. But if you have a floating license, you will instead uh, see there a path to the license server. And in the second red box, you'll see the composite two. So that would be if I had a node lock license. And again, that composite two has just been renamed. So before it was uh, known as the SECID, and now as of 2020, you'll see that called composite two, comp two, or also CID two. All right, <clears throat> now you can see the six or so options there for choosing your license. So the first one is the, I have a license file. That's what you would choose if you have a node lock license and you just wanna browse to it locally. Now, the second option is I have an activation code. That would be if you have a subscription 
if you're cloud enabled, you see that third option there where you simply uh, type in your, your email to sign in and pull your license. And then the fourth option there is the, the floating option if you have a licensed server. Uh, the next one there is if you just need to visit the Siemens licensing website, for example, to download your new license or um, maybe grab an emergency license. And the last option, if you're not aware, is actually very useful. If you need to just maybe view some 2D files or even view 3D files but not make any modifications, you can actually use that option so you don't pull a full license. It will just open up uh, the, the free viewer mode for you. Okay, so now let's talk about floating licenses. Now, Solid Edge 2020 did come out a few months ago, uh, early this summer. So you, or at least the main contact um, for your company, should have received a temporary license. You may have noticed that uh, in the email <clears throat> where you got your license. And you can tell it's temporary if you see a date. Um, in the first paragraph where you have the features, it will say, for example, August 30th, 2019. And that signifies it's a temporary license. And the reason is because, as I mentioned before, we have to set up this new CID to get your new permanent license. All right, and just as an FYI, the CID, just like the, the SECID for NODOC licenses, the CID is a unique number based on uh, a few different system parameters uh, from your machine. Uh, could be tied to the operating system, the hard drive, or different things like that. Um, so any major hardware changes will likely change the SE, SE uh, I'm sorry, the, the SECID and the CID. So just keep in mind, if you have any hardware changes and need to update your license file, we can definitely help you get that form filled out to Siemens and, and get you a new license file. So where do you run this? Well, if you installed Solid Edge, then you can actually get to that get CAD tool as you see here. And that's under C, Program Files, Siemens, Solid Edge 2020, Program. And there you see that get CAD. Now, if you haven't installed Solid Edge yet, then you can download it from the GTAC site. You can see the website there. Um, the, the shortcut is support.ugs.com. That will take you to the main GTAC site where you can get to the download page and download this get CID tool. And once you run that, you'll see this command prompt. Uh, so this black command prompt window that you see here tells you not only your host name, as you can see there in the first box uh, that says LIC server uh, 01, that would be the host name of your license machine. And then the second red box is the composite. And as you can see on this particular machine, there's two internet adapters. So the first one is the LAN, the ethernet adapter, whereas the second one is uh, for the Wi-Fi. Now, both of, you, both of those should work, but we typically recommend just use the first one, the Ethernet one, since that one will typically always be turned on. All right, so now let's talk about what we do once you have that information from the GetCID tool. Well, once you sign into the licensing site, which again, the shortcut for that website is support.ugs.com, uh, then you can quickly access the license page you see here. Now, one important thing is, if you have multiple sold to accounts, uh, you can actually see those at the top uh, left of the window, as you see here. So just make sure you're looking at the right sold to for the solid edge license you're trying to manage. And then what you're gonna do is click the composite host ID link that you see at the bottom right. Once you click that, uh, you will then see a uh, enter CAD button. So as we'll see here on, on the next slide, um, just make sure you, uh, you can actually copy and paste from the command prompt uh, just to be safe, or you can manually type it in. Now, one thing you'll see is you do have three server lines, and I don't wanna to talk too much about this uh, right now, but if you do have any questions about it, uh, feel free to contact us. But that would be if you have a triad server set up, um, but most customers uh, do not have that set up, so you only need to worry about filling out the first line there for server one. And as you see, you simply need to paste in the, the CID, the composite host ID, and the host name of that license server, which again, we you get both of those uh, values from that get CID tool that we just talked about. All right, so once you have done that, you've submitted that information into the system, you can download your new permanent license file. 
All right, and on the download page, you will see under the uh, full products, uh, Solid Edge, Windows 2020, there's a license server option. And that download is called SPLM license server. And that's gonna be the download for the installation of the license manager. So uh, just uh, one more note there. So the SPLM license server, that's the download for the installation of the license manager. And all you're gonna do is simply run that. And one of those pages will prompt you for your license file that you just downloaded and the licensing will be good to go. All right, so once the licensing is, is set up and running on the license server, then you need to, of course, install Solid Edge on the client machines, the user machines. So when you install Solid Edge and you first try to fire it up, it will automatically give you a pop-up saying, hey, you need to license this, right? So you just hit okay and it'll open this license utility for you. And here's where you'll choose the fourth option. I have a license server name, and then you'll see the server name uh, option pop up where you simply type in the actual name, uh, the host name of that license server. So on the previous uh, few slides ago where we saw the, the host name of that license server was LIC uh, server 01, I believe it was. All right, and once you hit okay there, uh, it will be ready to go. Uh, that actually creates a uh, that environment variable for you. So that will update as you'll see the, the SE license server at the top. How to update to show that that path to the license server machine. And one note here, if you have an issue at this point, if you set up the license server host name and it does not successfully pull a license and gives you an error, the most likely cause is a firewall issue. So what you wanna do is go back to the license server and you may or may not need uh, your help from uh, some help from your IT. But what you need to do is allow the UGS LMD and the LMGRD executables. And both of those are in the licensing folder on the license server. And you can see the, the file path there. Uh, it's C program file Siemens PLM license server. In that folder, you're, you'll see those two files, UGS LMD and LMGRD. And, and all you need to do is uh, make sure you allow both of those files through your, your Windows firewall, maybe Windows Defender if you have that set up, and of course, any other antivirus that may be blocking it. And that's really it. They, they've really done a, a great job of simplifying the installation and licensing. Uh, I know it's been, uh, <clears throat> it's caused some customers a, a little bit of headaches in the past, um, if, if you've never done it before. Um, but they've really simplified that installation of the license manager and makes it very easy to set up and, and get going right away. So again, the, the reason Siemens made this change is for uniformity, for simplicity. So now you can have your solid edge licenses, maybe you have some NX, maybe you have Team Center, that is all on the same license file now. So you don't have to manage multiple license files and license servers and all of that. If you have node like seats, uh, not much changes besides the name. So just remember, it used to be called the SEC ID. Now it's going to be uh, referred to as Composite 2. If you have a floating uh, license, you do need to uh, get that uh, CID using the Get CID tool and submit that with your host name onto the licensing site and grab uh, and grab your new license file. And if you have a dongle, by the way, you can actually throw it away. Once you set up this new SC2020 licensing, uh, and that all the clients are upgraded and, and using 2020, uh, you can actually just uh, toss that dongle in the garbage. And of course, if you need any help with any of this, just uh, give us a shout and we'd be happy to help. And if you're ready to take it to the next level, we do offer training um, as well as services and additive manufacturing. So our, our 3D printer sales have been um, really taken off. And if you're interested in a little more information about that, please just email us at uh, marketing at saratech.com and we'll be happy to just send over some information if you need that. Thank you all so much. Have a wonderful day.